Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. There's a lot of people out there who think EVs are just fun, cute, cuddly little vehicles on the road here to save the world. And in some instances, they're right. But in this instance, they're wrong. Introducing the Bremick T-Rex. And this one's electric. We're here with Ray. Ray is the president and CEO and founder and overall big dog here. Right now, we are in the electric version of the Bremach, but there's actually three versions. You guys have a compressed natural gas. Compressed natural gas. We've developed a hybrid one, which we're doing for our Italian group. And then, you know, the gasoline version and the electric version. Yeah. Now, you guys have done some really unique engineering uh, on this vehicle, specifically mm -hmm. with the motor. Tell me a little bit about what's going on there. Basically what we've done, we ran a low voltage system. We developed a system that allows us to have three motors that are mounted on a single shaft. Each motor is controlled by an individual controller, technically only draws up to 600 amps. Although, because they're on a single shaft, three times six get you 1800 amp if need be. The biggest advantage is safety at 115 volts. The odds of getting zapped and killed is, is much considerably smaller. much smaller. Yeah. The other advantage is to actually reduce the cost dramatically. So it's cheaper, motor, it's safer. Cheaper, safer, and better. Yeah, those are three things I love. Another ingenious thing that you guys did was the frame of this. Right, a lot of trucks use kind of a, a C for C channel right? frame. C -channel, this particular yeah. case, it's actually a round tube on top of a square tube. It's extremely strong. The truck itself is capable of carrying four and a half tons. It's got its own transfer case. The original body was designed by the same guy that designed the Bugatti EB1. It's probably worth noting at this point how much we're jumping back and forth. The suspension is much stiffer than it normally would right, be. Right. If there was a load on the back, then you know it would smooth things out. It would smooth out. it out with weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Brembo brakes, which you would find on right. higher end European mm -hmm. sports cars. There is a system in the back that as there's more load capacity on it, it changes the brake bias from front to back. So the um, brakes know, oh, there's a lot more weight in the back. Correct. We shouldn't just squeeze up one set of brakes and flip the car. Correct, correct. correct. You didn't get your start doing this. You actually had these little, like, Escalade and Hummer golf carts. Correct, correct. Do you think you're ever going to work on something maybe in the middle? No. Is there a middle ground? No, there really isn't Not a middle ground. Not for you. I'll tell you why. There's a, <laughs> no, there's a good reason for it. Okay. From a regulatory standpoint, pickups or any kind of passenger vehicle. Right, right. You're talking advanced airbag, anti-sway, tire monitoring system. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. Unless yeah, you're one of the that. big three yeah. and you have a couple billion dollars, right. you don't stand a chance. Who do you market this to? I mean, who's going to use this vehicle? The, as far as the electric version, that is something more for a garbage pickup municipality that has a specific route. Okay. You know, at a hundred kilowatt pack, this will do about a hundred miles. More you know, commercial a use. Because of commercial use. Yeah. Because of this technology, you guys are able to make a comparable product to what's out there, except make it more efficient and cheaper. So this is like 120. 120,000 miles. And competitors are looking at what, like 150? Approximately. Yeah. yeah. That's it for the Bremick T-Rex, a vehicle that's really turning EVs on their head. I mean, they're not just commuters anymore. And this thing, uh, this could be a garbage truck, it could be a, a fire truck, it could be Shaq's daily driver. The possibilities are endless. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.